Hi, welcome to this lab on Azure Database Migration Service. And in this lab, we will learn how to migrate a MySQL database to Azure Database for MySQL. This is going to be the solution where I'll have a source database which is going to be MySQL database. And then I'll use the Azure Database Migration Service instance to migrate the source database to the target Azure MySQL database. The steps that will be followed are first I will create the target database which is going to be a your database for MySQL. Then I will create a your DMS instance in which I will specify the database engine for source and target. After creating the DMS instance, I will create a migration project which is going to be inside the DMS instance. This migration project will have all the information about the source target the database and the tables within the database that has to be migrated then i will run the migration project and finally i will monitor and verify the migration this is the schema of our source mysql database the name of the database is records it has a single table called employee and the employee table has a total of three records in it we'll start the first step which is to create the target database and for that Type MySQL in the search bar and from the results select your database for MySQL. Here click create as your database for MySQL server. Then select single server for the resource type and click create. Now we have to provide information for the MySQL server. For the resource group I am going to create a new one and call it demo. Then you have to provide the server details which will include a server name, the data source, location and version. After that, I will assign a username and password for the admin account of the server. I am not going to change the data encryption for the server. I will not add any text for the server. And finally, click review and create button to create the server. This will take about 8 to 10 minutes and once our server is created, we are going to change its connection settings. Here you can see that our server has been created. Now we are going to click go to resource. Here you can see the data related to the server like the server name and the admin login name for the server. Click on connection security from the left hand panel. Then select no for deny public network access and select yes for allow access to Azure services. Then click add current client IP and then click save to save the configuration. Now our Azure database is all set and is ready to be used. For the second step, search Azure Database Migration Service and then click Create Azure Database Migration Service button. Here select MySQL Server for the source server type and Azure Database for MySQL for the target server and select Database Migration Service. Then click Select. Here I am going to select the resource group for the migration service. I am going to give a suitable name to the migration service. Location is going to be East US. Select Azure as the service mode and then click next. On the networking page, you have to select a virtual network. I'll create a new one and I'm going to call it test VM. I won't add any tags for the migration service. Then click create. This is going to take about 5 to 7 minutes and after that your migration service will be created and it will be ready to use. For the third step, click go to resource and then click new migration project. Enter the name for the migration project, select the source server type, the target server type and migration activity type which is going to be offline migration and then click Create and run activity button. Now provide all the information related to your server which is going to be the server name, the port on which it is running, the username for the server and the password and then select next. Then provide all the information related to the target Azure MySQL database like its subscription, resource group, username and password for the Azure MySQL database. From here, you have to select the source database and the target database into which all the data will be migrated. Then select the tables to be migrated. Uh, in this database, we have a single table and so I am going to select that particular table for migration purpose. 
no need to select advanced migration settings for this database then enter a suitable activity name and click start migration button the migration is going to take some time and after some time refresh the migration activity and see the status change from pending to complete here you can see that our migration has been completed here you can see that the status has changed to completed and the migration detail shows that all rows have been completed now we are going to verify the migration for that i have opened mysql workbench and i have already connected my azure mysql database with it i am going to see that the database records has been created here and it has a single table called employees now i am going to use this database and i am going to run a query to view all the records that are present in the database once the query is executed you will see that all the three records from our source database has been migrated to the target database that's all for this lab thank you